Hello. <laughs>
So, and then that kid that also doesn't talk to the kid that dropped out. So, I'm probably not going, which upsets me because I really want to see my chem when I can. But I saw Frank. Frank Aguero was my first ever concert. My junior year of high school. It was $32 to go see him. And I was so close to the barrier. Um, I got kicked in the back of the head and hit really badly by the mosh pit because the mosh pit, I was here, mosh pit was right behind me. And I got kicked by crowd surfers. I got beat in the back of the head by swinging arms. So to the, it was during, I think, Joyride? It was during Joyride or Oceans. It was during one of those two songs. I don't remember because I was, I had a whole like full on panic attack. And then, um, I freaked out so much at the people I made friends with. They saw me freaking out because I was grabbing on and I'm like, could not breathe. And they like, they parted. <laughs> they parted it like the Red Sea. They're like, move, she can't breathe. She's having a panic attack. Move, move, move. And they yanked me to the back, drank water. Some people were sitting, like literally people left the front row to come sit with me towards the end of the show. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. I think Frank Saul, he didn't say anything, which sucks ass that he didn't really say anything about it, but he saw us move every, they saw them move all of them and me running out to get water because I couldn't breathe. But then after that, all that was over, I went over and I met James Dewey. I love you, dude. If you, you're not going to see this <laughs> probably, but I love you. We had, I was wearing my Umbrella Academy shirt. We had a conversation about Umbrella Academy. He told me a little bit about season two, because season two is still in works. And then I had, after the show, I went to the back because usually they all come out back to do signings and whatnot after shows. So I went back, I got yelled at for trying to wait. I waited two hours getting yelled at by my parents because I really wanted an autograph from Frank because I love Frank. They weren't even there, first off. James came and sat with us for a little bit, just having fun. I, he, he signed my, um, Crank That Frank hoodie that I brought with me. I don't know where it is, but I went to go see the Kinda Emo tour from Crank That Frank. So, if any of my Crank That Frank people, hello. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I got James to sign that. Um, and then James said, oh yeah, Frank will be out later. I'm going to go to Dave and Buster's though to go get some dumb, something with that it's worth a lot of tickets have fun guys i hope you enjoyed the show what not bye and so we're like okay bye james have a good night wait there a couple more hours they basically closed down the entire place to then have the um the security guys be like guys sorry frank and them left like hours ago and we were all pissed we were pissed pissed we were like so the entire time we sat out here you guys knew he left it was freezing cold like it was the middle of the night midnight most of us were underage 16 17 years old getting yelled at by our parents for sitting out there trying to get things even though it was a school night it was a school night trying to get an autograph from frank Iero who we all are big fans of. And they just left, didn't say anything to us. So I was very upset about that, but I forgive him. Busy man, I guess, I don't know. He can't always make it. It just sucked that I was literally getting in trouble for waiting and I didn't even get to meet him or get anything like that, which sucked. Cause I really wanted to meet him, but yeah, there's that. That's my story there going on to another thing because that was way too long of a ramble but you got a story and i painted my nails look at my nails they're not as messed up as they usually are see my usual stories that i tell are either um just really long uh, hyper fixations that i have that's my usual thing whether it be criminal minds my chemical romance harry potter uh, currently, it's been Minecraft, YouTubers, Dream SMP stuff, and true crime. And that's my usual things. And now you're gonna be like, oh my god, of course the basic white girl likes true crime. She likes criminal minds. <laughs> but I grew up with 
I grew up watching Criminal Minds. Technically speaking, it started when I was like a, a toddler and then ended a little bit ago. My biggest brag about Criminal Minds, though, is that me and Matthew Greg Gilmore have the same birthday. And anytime somebody goes, I'm a big fan of Matthew Greg Gilmore, I'm like, Oh, what's your biggest, like, we, you yeah, got your biggest brag rights about certain things. What's yours? And I'm like, I have, like, all this, and I have science stuff. Oh, yeah, my, I have the same birthday as him. I have the same birthday as Matthew Greg Gilmore, baby. Why am I, I don't know why I keep going, baby. That's just the thing I'm doing today. Hmm. Have you ever had that happen where like you're going on a whole run about something and then your brain just stops? It just stops and you even want to talk about something so bad, but there's just nothing there. Your brain, brain's like, you, you, you're done now. You're done now. I can't think of anything. Um, should I talk about Memento Nobis? I guess I'll just talk about Memento Nobis because I have nothing else to talk about right now. Not saying anything bad about Memento Nobis. I love here. Obviously, I do because I'm making this video for you. I love it. I'm a big part of everything. Fun fact, I was there when we created it from the beginning. If you hear anything in the background, don't mind. It's probably my grandma. I was there when they created it in the crank. Gameplays. I'm gonna say crank that Frank. <laughs> the crank gameplays Discord. That night of Unis Honest dying. I was there when it happened. I got the invite link. I've been here since day one. Right? It's a great thing. Um I've helped with a lot of the, well, any scripted thing you see, the first couple videos, the, our promo video, I helped with the, well, I helped with the writing of the intro and the promo, and I helped with the, um, acting in the promo. I am the actor's lead of our, um, channel. Fun, that's a fun title for me. A lot of us are not actors like that or need help with it so i'm like the theater director Ooh, look at me i'm the director <laughs> look at me sure look at me sure i'm the captain now i know y'all are gonna be like why sh why is this person calling himself boobs i don't know that's just what my discord name was and then i've just been going by goobs online Maybe you'll get a name reveal. Maybe. If everybody really wants it that bad, maybe you'll get one. I don't know. I'm non-binary. I am non-binary. I use she, they pronouns. I know in my hair dyeing video it said they, them, but it's actually she, they. I do use he sometimes if I feel like it, but my main ones are they, them, she, her, because I'm... Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, so I use she, they, he, she, they, yeah, not they, them. I do prefer they, them, but most people I know just use she, her, because that's what I've always used before coming out of non-binary. So, um, I'm vibing. I don't know why I do this. This is like, <laughs> this is a stim that I do a lot. When I get, like, have too much energy, I just start doing this. Like, saw, dude. Saw, dude. Toy, toy! Ethan, are you proud? Ethan, are you proud? I no longer have chip black nails. Turn back, Richard. Fuck around, Richard. No, no, it's back in the supermarket. Chip black nails. <laughs> Sorry. I love corpse. I love corpse husband. Oops. Sorry. Hi, corpse. Hi, corpse. Dude, I get to, um... <laughs> Corpse is amazing. Like, his music, I listen to it a lot more than I should be, especially at work. The amount of times I've kicked open and shut the walk-in at work, because I work at a food place, the amount of times I've kicked that door open and shut just because the music's hyping me up so much that I just feel like a bad bitch. <laughs> that but I will 
it's just this music's good i know a lot of people will hate on me i don't care if you hate on me for saying that i like corpse husband's music i don't care it's an opinion you can't get mad at an opinion it's an opinion unless it's the opinion is harmful to yourself or others then it's not an opinion that's just you being rude but an opinion about music is an opinion about music until it starts getting toxic. I'm not being toxic here, okay? I like Corpse's music. It is good. You might say it's not good, but that's just, that's because you don't like it. It's not your taste. It's my taste. I like it. Agoraphobic is very good. Oh my god, have any, anybody that likes Corpse, have you seen his profile picture right now? It's currently February. So his profile picture on Twitter, it kept him, Carl, and Saikuno kept moving it over, and then it went the other way, and now Corpse's picture's coming back with Bingus. <laughs> I don't know, but it's coming back with Bingus at the moment. So I don't know what's going on there. Oh my god, I've been stuck in like basically the center of this whole time. I feel like if I just moved here, and then. Um, so then I move over here and I'm like, oh, hello there. Hello. But then I'm stuck here. Awesome. Just ignore the flag. If you can see that, no, you don't. I hate this flag. I don't know why it's up. I don't like the, the thing that's for this flag anymore because they're a horrible person. That's an opinion, but not really because it's fake. Thank you. In my opinion, he is a horrible person. I'm not telling you who it is. If you can see that bit, I, I would assume you might know what it's from. Agree or disagree, I think he's a bad person, though. I like the older music. Disconnect the artist from the music type thing. Where I grew up with that band, so I'll still listen to the older music. Not the newer stuff. Eh, it's getting too annoying for me to listen to the newer stuff. But the older stuff before the boom, great. Great. But I can't just deal with that that band anymore. Or at least the person that fronts for the band. Listen to I don't know how, but they found me. Please, they're great. I can tell you a story about school. I was very bad in school. Um, I can't... My senior year of high school was last year. So, I'm the class of 2020. Meaning... I never got to actually graduate like everybody else because of Rona, Miss Rona. That happened the week of my birthday. My birthday was the ninth. I got sick with tonsillitis, and then that I was literally only there on that Monday for my birthday. I was gone the rest of the week until, and then the thirteenth. That's when they. That was the last day of school for any of us. Was the thirteenth of March, so it sucked because I turn eighteen, get sick. And then I can't even go back to school to see everybody or even graduate. I, I didn't get a proper graduation. It was just at home. It was boring as hell. It was so dumb. I didn't even get a senior prom. I didn't get to go to a senior prom. Everybody, they were going to do it for us in the summer to be nice, like, do what they could for us because we all wanted it. And everybody was like, no, that's dumb. Even though y'all wanted one so badly. But then you're like, oh, that's stupid. Why would you do that? Elisa, we're giving it to us. You wanted it so bad. He paid like $2,000 for your dress that shows half your tits. Now you don't want to go because, oh, I'm in California. I'm in Texas. I'm in New York right now. I'm all the way in like Hawaii. I'm in Colorado. I'm kind of school now. It was the middle of summer. Where are you at? You you wanted it so badly and then start complaining, saying it's stupid and nobody should go. They were giving us a senior prom. We weren't going to get that. We didn't get a graduation. They were going to give us a senior prom. I literally bought my dress. I was so excited. And then I had to return it because within that same week, I said, sorry, we can't do prom anymore because nobody wants to. Oh, my God. I actually have a waist. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Different. Oh my god, sorry, I'm sorry. But I look so skinny right now. Oh my goodness. I'm usually not this skinny, but I look kind of skinny right now. I'm loving it. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. Oh my god, the skirt. I look so good in the skirt though. Like I have a waist right now, and I'm loving that. 
This is a cute fit, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, this is from Romley. Not sponsored. But this entire outfit is from Romley. So, you gotta love it. It's also my honest, honest inspired fit for the day. Woo, I look like an e-girl. I'm not an e-girl, but I am alternative. Knee cam. Oh my god. Goobs' is knee. Knee. Goobs' is other knee. Would it be... Nah, I can't. Would it be bad if I just, like, guys, just call me Goobs from now on? That'd be so cool if I'm like, hey, Goobs. Hi. All right. Um, I've talked way too much about way too many things that make no sense to each other. But that's just what you get inside my brain. That is Goobs' ADHD brain here for you, baby. I don't know. But, there you go. That's out of my stories. That's out of me painting my nails. If you like them, welcome, Unises. They will be chipped within a day. Just watch out. All right. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to my rambling. You really didn't have to, but here you are. I'm very sorry, God, that you had to deal with my rambling for so often. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. <laughs> God's up here. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you. I hope you liked my ramblings. I don't know. I ramble a lot. I feel like... That's just what I do. I don't ever have anything planned. Next time you see me, I will promise that it will be something planned and I won't ramble too much. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go. Probably make something to eat because I'm hungry. It is currently 5.30 in the afternoon. I have a bunch of stuff to be doing, so I will be going to do that now. On that note, thank you for joining me today. Until next time, keep in mind, we were there, memento nobis. Goodbye.